Hi. Can you hear me? I can. First of all, thank you so much for staying up and taking the time to talk to us. Sorry. It's my pleasure. You guys have been waiting a long time. Uh, my question is mostly because most of the people that are in the room and in the line and watching from the live stream are students uh, here in Montreal. And my question is basically what your vision is in terms of us moving forward and protecting civil liberties and our freedoms and democracies. And then what are the tangible things that youth today can do to minimize the risks, especially because we're the generation that's most connected and that clicks, I agree to the terms and conditions faster than... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, that's my question. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you know, the main thing is that you guys are already doing uh, what so many people have not uh, in a visible way, right? You, you saw that line outside uh, to talk about surveillance. The first thing, and I think one of the most central things you can do, is all of these politicians like to create uh, an appearance that no one cares about privacy, that no one cares that they're being watched. Uh, but we know this is not the case. You all are here establishing that this is not the case. So the very first thing that you should do is argue whenever anybody brings that stuff forward, whenever anybody comes up with that argument saying, you know, I don't care because I've got nothing to hide, go, wait, 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 wait. Privacy isn't about something to hide. Privacy is about something to protect. It's about protecting your rights. It's about protecting your sense of self. It's about protecting an open and liberal society, a free society where you can be who you want, where you can think what you want, where you can have a private conversation between friends, between confidants, where you can figure out what it is that you actually believe in. Privacy is the fountainhead of all other rights. It is the basis from which the other rights derive their meaning, their value. Freedom of speech doesn't mean very much if you can't figure out what it is that you actually want to say and instead have to repeat what other people say, what's popular, because that's the only thing that's safe to say. Right? If you can immediately be separated and prejudged because you are different, right? Uh, that's what privacy is about. Privacy is the right to the self. Privacy is the right to be you. Uh, and this is, you know, coded all the way in our language when you go down to, uh, you know, private property, right? Uh, this is not popular with, uh, you know, in uh, very far to the left. Um, but the idea here is that privacy is the ability to have something for yourself, whether it's a home, whether it's a car, whether it's a pencil, whether it is an idea, whether it is a belief, right? So when somebody says, I don't care uh, about privacy because I've got nothing to hide. That's like saying that I don't care about free speech because I have nothing to say. It's not about you. It's about everyone. It's about all of us. It's about potential. It's about possibility. It's about the foundation of everything that we believe in that so many people have fought and died for. And if you are not willing to stand up for your own right to be you, why do you care? about what happens. All you're saying is that I'm willing to let everyone else decide everything that affects my life. I'm willing to let other people decide my future because I don't have any ideas of my own. Thank <laughs> you.